episode of Raising Killen, the podcast to motivate, inspire, and educate parents. Hi guys, welcome back to the Raising Killen podcast. Today we are zooming across the Atlantic to speak with Chris Mayer in Seatburg, Germany. Chris is going to educate and empower us with his strategy of positive mindset. Chris's seven-year-old daughter Jade has cerebral palsy and today Chris is here to share his journey with us. Welcome to the show Chris. How are you doing this evening? Really great. Well we fight the corona as well as you do yes. and um we are kind of isolated at home as well. Everybody has to stay at home and uh, not get in, talk, in contact with other people. Um, yeah, different, uh, difficult uh, times right now here in Germany. Yeah. I totally understand. We are um, experiencing some, the same thing here in the States as well. Yeah, yeah, as well, everything is closed. Uh, universities, schools, uh, everything. So you you are, might stay home and you, you go out for like uh, taking a walk or some, uh, but just two people, not more, right. not gathering with other people uh, to avoid an infection. Well, we will see how long this takes. Chris, tell me a little bit about your, yourself. Uh, where are you guys located at? And uh, there's so much I want to find out. So let's get the ball rolling with that question. Well, we live in, um, uh, in Siegburg. It's a city close to Cologne in Germany. I am interested to hear about you and your family as well as Jade. If you want to hear the story, I tell you something about our Please, story. Please, I would like to hear your story uh, with Jade. So listen, um, uh, to my girlfriend, I always said, I want to have a, a, a child to the age of 40. And I just told her I... I'm so proud if I have a child and I would be even more proud if it's a girl. And I, I got the child to the age of 40 and it was a girl, a beautiful girl, everything fine. And the first year, everything went great. You know, um, we were really proud and uh, it was a really great time. But then you know, the other people tried to, to crawl anyway and sitting anyway and try to, to uh, reach the, the table and everything to get up. And we recognized that Jade couldn't even sit, you know. And then we went to the doctor and the doctor said, yeah, I'd like Jade is born three months before. It's normal. This will come later. And then we said, okay, that's okay. And um, at the age of two, everything of the other children is already walking and running. Mm -hmm. And Jade couldn't even sit. And, you know, we were like totally alarmed and, and we went to the doctor. And then uh, we got the di diagnosis, uh, cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. And this was like a shock for us, you know. And um, we went to the PT and uh, told us, well, um, it might be you will uh, aware, be aware that your child is not going to walk till the age of four or five years. And we were totally shocked. You know, this is like a situation uh, you had never been in there. And you always tell yourself when you get a child, everything else doesn't matter. I have to be healthy. Everything else doesn't matter. So. And now we got this huge, huge problem, you know. What yeah. went through your mind at this time, Chris? Um, we were like totally lost, you know. Um, we got uh, really times where we cried a lot yes. because we were worried about our child, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was like a really, really tough time from for our relationship as well you know the next step was that uh, 
Jade got seizures as well. And one uh, morning we were laying in bed and, and she was like uh, uh, shivering with one finger and then with one arm and then every, everything. And, and we were in the first uh, big seizure that she got. And that was then the second problem we got in, in the life of our daughter, you know. And she got like 16 seizures and... Um, one lasted 40 minutes, the other nearly about 20 minutes. And we all, all the time we had to go to, to the clinic, uh, ch children's hospital, you know. So we got like really packed with this stuff and we were totally uh, in a depression, you could even say. And I got like times where of a whole year where I couldn't sleep longer than two or three hours in the night. And you are just function and you, you, can, you go to the job, but you, you move everything from left to right, from right to left, you know. Then um, we had these hard times and I got the, the biggest game changer. Um, when I was sitting, um, I, I, I'm holding speeches here in Germany as well about uh, our uh, transformation, about our positive mindset and how we developed us in, in this mindset, you know. And I always tell them that my game changer was that I was um, sitting in a car. Yes. And I was like crying because I was aware of that the world would not ne never be like, like I imagined it, it could be for us as a family, you know? And while I was crying, there was this really, really great friend of mine calling and she said, hey, Chris, what's, what's going on? Why are you crying? And I said, well, you know, um, I, I can handle the situation uh, quite well but uh, once a while like this moment i'm aware that i can't go to uh, to the gymnastics with uh, jade because i was a great gymnastics uh, you know okay. and i wanted her to do this as well you know? and said i can't go with her to the gymnastics i can't go with her to skiing and i was like counting 10 things that i can't do with jade and she said chris Listen to me. These are all things that you want to do with your daughter, Jade. She's totally happy. She's totally happy. And maybe she doesn't even want to go with you on this hill and ski or go to the gymnastics. And then I was like thinking, who got the damn problem right now here? Yes. Is it all about me or is it all about Jade? You know, and it was like this that I got a really big ego. You know, I was making a lot of party and it was always that I, I was just looking what makes me happy and what are my dreams, you know. And in this moment, I learned change your focus and you change your life. So I took the focus away from myself to my daughter to date and i looked what what the, what is her needs her wishes her dreams so this was a, the first step of my transformation that i was aware of hey i i don't have to look what is uh, my needs and my wishes instead of looking hey jade what do you want you know so this was the, the first key. And um, so we moved on and um, I was always looking how I can support her, you know, and help her. And uh, one time we were um, at a barbecue party from friends and she was like mobile with a stroller uh, mm -hmm. quite well. And um, we were sitting on the, on the bank and uh, cool drinks, barbecue, and the kids were playing football, you know. And um, I remember that she asked uh, me, hey, Dad, I would like to play football as well. 
And uh, a, a boy heard that she was uh, talking to me like this. And he said, hey, you can't pl play football. Uh, you can't do it. And then I told Jade, Jade, do you want to play football? And she said, yeah, but you, you, you listen to this guy. He, he is right. The boy, I, I can't walk. And I, I told her, Jade, don't let every, anybody tell you that you can't, can't do it, any, uh, anything even if I tell you that. And then I took her uh, under the arms and I was like, uh, uh, with the, the legs were flying and sometimes we were like kicking a ball and she was having just a blast and uh, had fun and we even made a goal, you know. And this was like really fun. And um, why do I tell you this story? Because three weeks later, We were with her therapy bike mm -hmm. and uh, we were like uh, riding the bike and we came to a hill and it was quite respectful. And I was standing there with her and she looks to me and she said, Daddy, do you think that I can get up to this hill here with my bike? And I was like motivating and I said, yeah, sure, you, you, you will make it. You are there and I, I, I'm not the half and you are up there on, on the hill. And she said, Dad, tell me that I'm not going to make it. And I was, sure you do, you, you, you will make it. And she said, Daddy, tell me that I'm not going to make it. And then I checked it and I was like, okay, you will not go there, This is, you, half and you will roll back and everything. And then she was like really, really anxious uh, doing it till she, she went up to the hill and she said, hey, listen to me, I did it, Dad, I did it, you can see. And what, what you see in this moment is this self-motivation and the self-awareness that, that this child was five years got and that was like really, really, really fantastic. And I recognize there is so much more uh, uh, in Jade that, than I thought. And, you know, you, you, you see then all this development. And um, this was a transformation for me as well. So we were like deciding, okay, from this time out, from this time, we will just do everything positive. You know, everybody, you can, everybody, everything you can see negative, every, everything what happens, you can see positive. Everything in life can happen for you or everything in life can happen against you, you know. And the stroller that she got was not, never the stroller. We went uh, through the city and um, then Jade had the stroller there and the kids were asking, hey, what, what, mom, dad, what, what, what is the child having there? And Uh, once the family said, yeah, she, she can walk really good and this, this helps her. And uh, others uh, were just stunned and didn't know what to say. And my favorite was always, yeah, uh, uh, be happy that you don't need this one. And then I went to the children and I said, do you know what it is? And um, they said, what? I said, this is a Ferrari. And it was even red, like a Ferrari. Yes. And she was like, uh, this was always her uh, sentence. And then she, she, she was running quite well with, with uh, the stroller, you know. And then she was like running. And then the kids went to the, <laughs> to the parents and said, hey, I want this Ferrari as well. <laughs> and so you, you, you imagine how we always try to, to find all this positive And um, we always say we, we love the life and the life loves us. And I, I always recognize, and that makes me really sad, that a lot of parents are depressed and frustrated. And that needs to be there. But then you have to kick yourself in the balls and you, you go there and you be positive. I know it's hard, but, but this is a development. Why do you have to do this development? Because the children always look at the parents and they look their habits and they look how they act. And guess what? If you are always depressed and if you are always down, your child will not have the chance to be uh, Miss Sunshine like Jade or uh, 
to to have like this beautiful life and see everything positive in life. Because uh, the children always look at their parents. And they model their behavior, don't they? Yeah. And this is what we get like um, always said from other people in our uh, surroundings. They say, hey, you, are, you guys are so positive. You have so much positive energy to reflect this on other people as well. You know, who got the same situation. Guys, we are going to take a short break to let some of Chris's engaging storytelling settle in. I also encourage you to go back to episode 5 to listen to Jay Puente's perspective of raising a child with special needs. Can you tell me one tip or one strategy that you use in order to maintain that positive mindset for myself, I know taking a walk every afternoon helps me release those stresses so that yeah. I'm able to refocus. Yeah. What are perhaps some tips or strategies that you could give to other parents to help them? So too bad that our relation bro broke up with the mom of Jade, but we are still um, a great team. You know, uh, for Jade, and we lived here together even for four years, even we are not together anymore. And I always tell the people, um, a doctor told us that almost 70% of the relationship who got this kind of problems and crises with the children, they break up. They told us. And we said, hey, 70%, okay, we, we belong to it, you know. It's hard for the relationship because you got always a focus on the children, you know? Yes. And um, we uh, managed to, to be there for Jade with all our positive energy. And why can we do this? Because we always take ourselves out, uh, times out, out, times out, you know? I go, uh, for instance, every day um, I go swimming. Half an hour before I go to work. I go once a year, always just alone for myself on vacation. And I think this is like really important that you got time for yourself. So like, like you said, to, 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 uh, to, to um, overthink, um, some, uh, to, to get uh, new energy for, for the next uh, war and strife and... If you are always uh, struggling, struggling in this uh, uh, crisis, it doesn't work. So you, you need to, to make out times, uh, time, out, time outs, time outs. You have to take time outs. Tell me about Jade now. Does, I mean, obviously not now because we're all at home, but does she go to a, uh, a mainstream school? How is the schooling done? Yeah, this was for us a question that we asked ourselves. Um, the doctor said she's capable to go to a normal school because um, it's just uh, uh, that she can walk really good. But uh, from, from the intelligence, everything. So, so, but then you still think, okay, you got a child with, uh, that is disabled and how will the other children get along with her and everything and we were looking at two three schools and we always told ourselves if we enter a school and and uh, it's like open-hearted it's colored and everything and um, it's even in a school where they got uh, so you have the normal kids together with uh, kids that got uh, disabled kids yeah. and this is like this school in, in every um, uh, uh, group they got like 20 children and uh, uh, two or three um, disabled ch children all the time when I pick up Jade at the school she's surrounded from five six seven other people and they are helping her and uh, if I bring her to school they are waiting for her to get her hands and go to school so you are mainly over overthinking some things that never happen you know <laughs> and um, uh, every 
teacher and all the children are they are so nice to to jade and everybody wants to to meet with jade so i got like a really uh, dating problem at the weekend because everybody say i want to meet with jade and jade has to come to me and uh, every birthday where she goes to and this is like really nice you know she's really into it so let's talk about therapy how do mm -hmm. your guys include therapy into your daily routine Yeah. Um, well, we started off before we did the SDR. Um, we started off with the conservative uh, stuff. You know, we got the normal PT. Then we made the experience um, that horse riding is really good. So we started with horse riding um, till she is uh, from two years old. Um, and then with swimming as well. But At, at a certain time, we, we recognize just with the conservative uh, therapy, we won't come further, you know. And I was discovering uh, in the past um, the SDR already when she was two. But here in Germany, it was performed in Berlin from Dr. Harbrell, and he was a... a, a um, he he, he uh, learned the SDR from Dr. Park. And I called there and they said, no, it was two years, uh, Jade is uh, too young. So, And then Dr. Habel um, moved to Bonn, which is really close to us. And we got there in the age of four, the first um, uh, date with him. And he, he said, well, uh, we would, it might be that we wait a little. So... And then it was like uh, with five years, he said, okay, now uh, she's ready to, to, uh, to do the surgery, the, the SDR. And um, I uh, had in this time contact with Dr. Park as well. And we decided to go to the States because they did the perk together with the SDR. So here in Germany, we would have the SDR and then we had to wait and then do the perk uh, later on so we uh, decided to go to the usa and to st louis to to have the surgery and this went really great fantastic um great team and once we came back we uh, decided to make a plan for her so um we do uh, at the first time when we came back we we did uh, two times PT in the week, two times uh, yoga. Mm -hmm. uh, we also got this uh, vibration plate at home from a program that is located here in Cologne that works specially with this vibration plate. And um, we had horse riding and swimming. So oh, this is like she has every day uh, therapy in some way, you know. Mm -hmm. Yoga, really effective. I can recommend everybody to, to look for a good uh, uh, yoga teacher, uh, maybe specialized on kids, because uh, we made the experience that uh, she uh, stretching with the yoga therapy. So, so the combination of all this therapy is really, really great for, for Jade. And uh, sure, it's, it's uh, hard, <laughs> but she always does everything with joy because she knows that brings her further, you know. And um, my recommendation always to everybody is um, uh, after the SDR, especially after the SDR, is the Galileo uh, vibration uh, um, workout. Because this vibration plate is, uh, I, I do it myself every day. I'm, I'm getting on the vibration plate. And I recognize if she is regularly doing the vibration plate, she is really firm. And, and, and if, you, if, if she just skips it for some reason, vacation or anything, for two or three weeks, she's weaker. You, you recognize this at the, at the walk, at the quality of the walk. And I think that's the mindset we need to have sometimes as parents with children that have cerebral palsy is that you just can't take a break and sit down. You have to be proactive and um, proactive and, and get your strengthening and your stretching done yeah, yeah. Um, throughout so your that, lifespan. That, exactly. So if you, if you get into to start this off right now, 
she will, if, if she is a teenager and, and an adult, she will adapt this for, for herself with the knowledge um, I have to do every day some things for my quality of walking and for, for my strength. You know. Chris, we touched on this a little earlier. How yeah. would you say your dreams and your vision for Jade, how, how has that evolved over these last few years? Um, first I got my dreams that I got for her, you know, and now it's other, on the other side, like I look, what is your wish and what is your dream and what do you want to do? I, I can make some recommendations for, uh, things that she wants maybe to adapt, but, uh, it, it comes from her, uh, what she, she wants to do. And I took completely the focus out of my mind on, on Jade. And this is really what uh, some people have to understand um, that it's, it's not about me, it's about my child, you know, it's the, the, the needs of my child. And um, I, I learned as well, um, it's not uh, harmful to, to have a child with a disability, you know, it's just harmful if you can't accept this, you know. There's uh, uh, sadness and uh, depression, sure, uh, but uh, if you are stuck in this, uh, I, I repeat myself, your child will make the same development. This, this is the biggest problem. So we, for instance, uh, Saturday, um, wait, I, I, I... Okay. I had a surprise for, for Jade. I said, Jade, do you know what we do today? Maybe I, I will send a sequence on uh, Facebook. And, and she said, Dave, what, what are we going to do? I said, okay, I have something for you. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> then we dressed up in our carnival uh, costumes and we uh, uh, pushed up the, the music. And then we were ma making party. You know, we were like uh, foolish and dancing and doing and, you know, and, this is another um, advice that I want to give, and I think I, I made one post about it. Um, don't be so normal, don't be so uh, grown up. Be a little bit childish, you know, foolish. And then you, you will bring a lot of joy for your, for your children. Uh, Jade and I, we, we got this uh, mission to, to reach a lot of people and um, as I told, uh, we, we are together perform uh, and I, I, uh, I, hold, hold, yeah, I hold speeches about our development, about my transformation and um, all the time Jade comes at the uh, end uh, on stage and she said, okay, and now I will tell you the sentence, uh, when I go to bed, I'm beautiful, I'm strong, I'm clever, I'm loved, and I can reach everything what I want to, and you can do that as well, if you really wanted to as well. <laughs> I, um, I so value you taking the time to meet and to chat with us. And um, are there any last words that you would like to end with, Chris? Because I know it's getting late, very late for you as well. No, so. no problem. For me, it's no problem because um, uh, this is like one more step in, in, in the direction to, to reach other people and to share um, uh, how we um, uh, transformed to, to a really positive mindset, you know. And, um, how, how old I, is Jade now? I'm sorry, I didn't... Seven. Uh, seven. Okay, okay, seven. Yeah. Wow. She's in second grade and she's like doing really, really great and well. And um, yeah, it's... I always say if we don't had this disability, I wouldn't transform from my big ego to this uh, daddy with passion, you know? Um, I think um, you, you Taiwan, uh, sometimes you need a crisis in life uh, to know what is really worse in life. And, and to have that gratitude, isn't it? The yeah. gratitude exactly. and the joy. Exactly. Well, sir, I thank you again for, for talking to us. And I look so forward to getting all of this together so I can present it to the readers. And uh, I will... Um, 
thank you so much chris thank you i thank you for inviting me and anytime uh, um i i would like to to talk to you and to share my uh, experiences and to inspire and motivate the, the people and Guys, we have come to the end of yet another podcast. Remember, if there are topics that you want research, please reach out to us at raisingkillen.org. In circumstances where we have so little control, let's focus on what we do have control over. I love Chris's suggestion of the importance of self-care. What we do have control over is what we put into our bodies, how we exercise, and getting our sleep. And I believe that this is critical at this time in regulating and creating a sense of calm in the storm we face. Remember guys, keep strong and reach out to your community. And as always, remember, get to the top of your mountain. This is Marsh Naidu signing off.